Hi, this is Dr. Yoshi Ram here with Oasis Family Medicine, and by popular request, I've actually been asked many times over the years to do a little milk uh, blog, and so it's going to be very quick, as quick as it can be. It's a complicated subject, and actually people are pretty passionate about uh, their dairy. It's kind of interesting. There's a lot of different schools of thought, and I'm not going to say one way is right or wrong. Uh, I'm just going to tell you how I view it right now. Uh, some people will say that humans are not made to drink dairy after the first few years of life. There's nothing more, there's no food more uh, important to us during the first few years of our life than mother's milk. After that, maybe there's a question. Uh, there's many folks as well who believe that adults should be having enough or plenty of uh, fermented um, sourced milk or dairy from good healthy, clean sources. Now, there's also the issue of lactose intolerance, right? And maybe that points to the fact that humans should not be drinking too much milk or having too much dairy. Uh, there's the paleo view that nobody should be drinking, uh, the true paleo view that nobody should be drinking uh, dairy and or eating dairy. And then there's also the idea of why the heck would we drink I mean, if you think about what cow's milk is, like why are we drinking milk out of these udders from these cows, right? Genetically speaking, not everybody had access to a cow, so it doesn't make sense that genetically speaking, we would all should all be drinking this stuff. Now, those are just, I'm throwing those out there as some plausible objections. Um, obviously, if you're vegan, you don't do dairy. So what I do, I will just offer that for my three-year-old daughter, Kalea, right now, um, we, are drink we are feeding her this Jersey cow milk. It's raw. This is what the bottle looks like. It, it's, it's empty, obviously. Yellow, nice yellow top. And it's, um, it's raw Jersey cow's milk. And Jersey cows have a, produce a, a dairy that is actually has a different the protein of the protein of the milk in raw Jersey cow's milk is probably the healthiest cow's protein that you're gonna find. Uh, it's less inflammatory, genetically speaking. More people tolerate it well. The advantage of raw milk is that it's chock full of a lot of enzymes that get killed during the pasteurization, pasteurization and homo homogenization, homogenization process. That 99% of the milk in the grocery stores has. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna say categorically, nobody should be drinking non-organic milk. That is my personal belief, and I'm actually very. I believe that very strongly. I think if you're not drinking at least organic milk, you're, you're introducing uh, inflammation into the body in liquid form, and you're not serving anyone well, especially children. We have been brainwashed into believing that everybody needs milk for their calcium, which is a total fallacy. Almost most, so many vegetables um, and some nuts have way more calcium and it's way more bioavailable, meaning your body actually absorbs it more. Um, I would argue that uh, vegetarians probably get healthier calcium than uh, dairy drinkers on, on average. Um, that is actually borne out in studies. Uh, people who drink your standard Americanized uh, dairy actually are more likely to get uh, fractures and osteoporosis. So the, again, you know, pasteurization and homogenization basically destroys the, all of the healthy enzymes that are in milk naturally, um, and then as well as any living organisms that actually ought to be there at times. Now, you want to, if you're going to get raw milk, you want to get it from a clean farm, always, always. That goes without saying. Having said that, I will say that on a, you know, per bottle basis, you're actually less likely to get sick from raw milk compared to pasteurized milk. And that's be mainly because the, the dairy industry, the, the mainstream dairy industry, is about one of the worst industries out there in terms of how they treat their cows. And the, the cows are very sick. 
they're you know typically maybe grain fed which uh, produces a, a fatty content and nutrient content of the milk that is just totally atrocious and it's like a it's 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 actually like drinking milk from a different animal a species completely when you're comparing the non-organic milk compared to like a raw jersey cow's milk so raw jersey cow's milk would be at the top of my list if you're going to do dairy right um, and then you could ferment that that certainly breaks down a lot of lactose i will just by the way people out of my patients who have done uh, switched over to like a raw Jersey cow's milk. I would say about 60 to 70 percent of them who were lactose intolerant are suddenly no longer lactose intolerant. That's because the enzymes in the milk that come along with it are, are very wonderful at helping your body recognize this and so it becomes much less of an inflammation issue. If you are someone who can handle fermentation, fermented foods can be very wonderful for the gut. Um, that is not always the case. So everything here that I say is to be taken with a grain of salt um, and really the person is an individual, but I would go fermented sources from raw dairy as being the highest food source, the, the best food source of dairy, and then like a raw Jersey cow's milk would be next, and then other uh, raw cow's milks that are not specifically from Jersey cows. Um, and then maybe, you know, from Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or Sprouts or somewhere like that, your typical just organic milk. Um, that's missing a lot of it though. I, I'm not, I, I, I would say that's probably still introducing more inflammation than goodness into the body. There's way better ways to get good calcium, which is um, really about all that milk, those milks are good for, and they're not even very good at that. Also, the vitamin D that is added to most cow's milk sources is the wrong type of vitamin D. So please ignore that. Don't, just stop drinking shitty milk, please. Um, so like I said, I don't have strong opinions. Um, goat's milk. So I actually also get pure raw goat's milk. And I actually alternate this for Kalea. One week I'll do goat's milk, the other week Jersey cow's milk. Goat's milk um, should be drink, drink, drinking, drinking, drunken, raw. Again, uh, it's probably, the structure of it is a little bit different than cow's milk. So most humans tend to tolerate goat's milk better than cow's milk on average. What else? And then I guess you get into the other types of milks. Now I would, and the non-dairy sources. Um, there's actually camel milk can be really good for you as well. Um, not a lot of people in the US have access to that. But I would say the next best thing is coconut milk. And I'm looking down here at my computer screen because I actually purchased off of Amazon something called natural value organic coconut milk. Again, that's natural value organic coconut milk. It's, uh, it comes in a can, it's BPA free, it's GMO free, it's organic, it's the real deal. Uh, and so this is health, probably the healthiest coconut milk because there's zero additives to it. That's probably the next best non-dairy source of milk, in my opinion. You get into other things like almond milk, rice milk, uh, and soy milk. 99% uh, of soy milk is not GMO free, uh, so I would stay away from that. I'm not a big fan of soy unless it's fermented soy and your body can handle fermentation. Um, yeah, so I'd stay away from soy, just I, I don't think it's worth going there. Again, unless you are a certain ethnicity that and it's fermented, then it could be a good source and it's from an organic non-GMO source, then fine. Uh, rice milk and almond milk, they're, you know, probably almond milk is better version better than rice milk. Rice milk is really offers almost zero nutritional value. Uh, it's really just a liquid um, and it has a very high glycemic index which can be an issue for most Americans at least. Almond milk kind of feel the same way about maybe it's a little bit better than rice milk. Um, those are more just carrier carrier for well cereals unfortunately. So cereals is a whole nother issue. Uh, time, time for another uh, little blog, maybe. 
hope this serves you well. Please leave a comment too. This is a very interesting subject and um, you know, I'm sure I will formulate new opinions with time, but as of now, those are my thoughts. Take care.